Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Wanted to do a quick video on sunscreen. So sunscreen, very relevant right now with the sun out. It's a gorgeous day in Seattle and we need to protect our skin while we're outdoors. There's UVA, UVB, UVC rays, and UVC gets filtered out through the ozone and the atmosphere, but UVA and UVB are still getting in contact with our skin. UVA, we say UVA, A for aging, that can cause lots of wrinkles, brown spots, so we definitely wanna block those, but UVB can also contribute to skin cancer. So you wanna find a, a sunscreen that will block both UVA and UVB. UVA also can penetrate the window glass. So I have uh, a window in my office. Gotta make sure that you are wearing sunscreen because UVA will go through the glass in the car as well. So people who are on the road a lot, truck drivers, they will have the left side of their face photo age faster than the right side. Okay, next, different ingredients. There are physical blockers or mineral ingredients called zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, those two ingredients you want to associate with the physical mineral blockers. Then there are chemical sunscreens, which are harder to say, and I'll list them right here. Those uh, have had some bad press recently with uh, reports of them with just one day of use. You can find them in your uh, bloodstream. And what does this mean? Hard to interpret what this means in the long run, but I do say physical blockers are your go-to for even, you know, for yourself, for your kids. Uh, my kids were wearing sunscreen from six months on and I would always stick with the zinc titanium ingredients. Chemical blockers you do find a lot in the sprays. So Neutrogena makes nice zinc based sunscreens but they do have a lot of sunscreens with uh, chemicals. So you wanna watch uh, what you're putting on your skin. Look at the drug facts, look at the uh, ingredient list in the back here. My favorite brand of sunscreen Elta MD. So we sell this in our office. There are different types. UV Clear is a nice one that is good for people with acne prone skin because it has niacinamide in it, which is anti-inflammatory. This one is UV Replenish SPF 44. Now another good question is what SPF am I shooting for? I tell my patients go for SPF 30 and above. Okay. Elta MD does make a nice spray with the zinc in it. So this is really great for guys, especially you don't want to put on a cream and you just want to spray something on. You have really fast kids who don't want to stay still. You can just chase them around with the spray. The only downside to a spray sunscreen I do say though, is if it is a windy day, you're not going to get an adequate amount of sunscreen onto uh, your kids or yourself because the wind's going to blow away the particles. So you want to make sure you get a good layer on. If you're using a cream sunscreen, the amount that we recommend uh, for putting covering your body and face is a shot glass worth of sunscreen. So about an ounce worth of sunscreen. A lot of times people are under uh, treating or not putting enough sunscreen on their skin. And so that's how you burn, even though you say, hey doc, I wore sunscreen, why am I still burning? The other thing that uh, people have trouble with is staying frequent. You have to reapply sunscreen when you're outdoors. So when you go to my home state of Hawaii for a vacation, you put on sunscreen when you leave the hotel room, but you will still burn. Why is that? Because there, UV index is high. Also, your sunscreen will only last for an hour to two hours. If you're getting sweaty, you're going in the pool, you're jumping in the water and the, at the beach, your sunscreen will last just about an hour. So you gotta reapply every hour. If you're not, you're staying dry, you're just going out, taking a hike, you gotta reapply every two hours about. So, uh, because your sunscreen will deactivate and wear off over time. So it's almost like you gotta have it on yourself. You gotta keep it in your pocket, you gotta get in your, your, your hiking bag just so that you can reapply, okay? Okay, another question I get is, is tanning okay? Is tanning good for me? The sun has a lot of great properties, uh, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, we do have patients go into a light box, uh, medical grade light box called phototherapy, which emits narrowband UVB that will help with uh, severe cases of psoriasis, eczema. Uh, so we do recommend it at times, but we do not recommend for tanning. We don't recommend indoor tanning 
because indoor tanning can lead to skin cancer, most notably malignant melanoma. And melanoma we don't mess with because that is a fatal skin cancer. I do see that quite a bit in Seattle. People assume that because we're in this dark uh, area where they film Twilight, the movie Twilight, the uh, sun is not an issue, but actually we do see quite a bit of sun uh, skin cancer. A lot of Seattleites like to go to Hawaii and vacation and they go and have fun and burn. So going back to our other point, reapply enough sunscreen and reapply frequently. So going back to indoor tanning, that's a big no-no, okay? When I see uh, your skin being tanned and you ask, uh, why are you cringing? It's because at a microscopic level, your skin is literally crying and the tears is being manifested as a tan. So you're really causing significant DNA damage when you tan, which can lead to skin cancer. So just a quick recap on what we reviewed today. Chemical ingredients, physical ingredients, zinc and titanium oxide. Look at your drug facts on the back. For me uh, right now, what I understand is I'm gonna stick with physical blockers because I don't know what these chemical ingredients will do to us long-term. So I'm sticking with this, that's my opinion. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope you all have a nice spring and summer. Please be responsible. Social distancing is still something we have to practice. We can't let our guards down, uh, but be safe with your skin. Be responsible with your skin. Wear your sunscreen, wear your shades, and uh, consider wearing UPF clothing as well. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Appreciate the support guys. Be safe, take care, all right? Oh, 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 oh,